Okay, welcome back to Strength Coach Tutorials. Today we're going to talk about some of the stats that you might want to keep on your strength and conditioning programs. These stats can help you track your athlete's progress over time. Some of the ones that I like to keep on my training programs are the exercise name, total reps completed, total load completed, and then the average load per rep, which gives me an idea of how much um, the athlete is lifting. So you can see we're coming back to our, our spreadsheet now that we've been working on for a few episodes, um, which we've programmed to do our percentage-based programming. So I have a couple different sets and rep schemes in there that's going to change the percentages. We're going to play around with those a little bit. So to get the exercise name over to the box here on the side to track it, it's as easy as just typing equals and then the cell that you want it to equal. So we got the bench press in there. For total reps, what we want to do is add up all of the, the reps that are performed in that um, particular exercise. So we go equals, and then we can find all the cells that have the reps in them and just add them together. So plus, 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 plus. And then total load, what we want to do is times the reps and the weight for each set and then add them together. So what we want to do is type equals and then because we want the operation to be performed first we're going to type a bracket and we'll go reps times weight bracket plus bracket reps times weight bracket plus reps times weight bracket and we got two more here plus bracket reps times weight and last one plus bracket reps times weight and we'll close that off and that should give us our total load in this case it's 5625 and then if we divide out those numbers equals um, load divided by total reps performed, then we get our average um, load per rep. So it's pretty standard across there because we have some flat loading here with a 5x5 five five at 75%, but I've put in um, a bit of a wave load here so you can see how that kind of works out. So if we go um, a 5x5 five five at 75, 80, 85, 90, and 80, you can see that the average load per rep ends up to be about 246. So it's less than the maximum value and higher than the minimum value. So there's an example of a few stats that you might want to keep on your athletes programs. The beauty of keeping the boxes off to the side like this is when you go to print them, they won't print. So the boxes stay on the sheets. If you're enjoying these videos, please like and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you know anyone else that might benefit from these videos, please share it with them. If you have any questions or comments about the video, please put them in the comments section below and I'll see you guys next time.